Hey guys, on today's video, it's just a quick warning why you guys shouldn't update to the latest OS. So I know it sounds fun to just update to the latest OS and check out what's new. However, if you guys use any apps on your Mac and especially use them for work and you need them to work for sure, do not update. There's a bunch of apps right now that don't work with the latest OS and that's always the case. That's no surprise. Whenever there's an update from Apple, there's a bunch of apps that lag behind until they actually update the apps, the developers, okay? So it's, that's not really Apple's fault, it's just the developers that take forever. For example, Canon, if you guys use Canon Utilities or any Canon software for that matter, right now if you go to their firmware software, you guys will see that there's nothing for the latest OS, okay? Uh, same goes with firmware, if you guys go to the latest one you guys will notice that although you guys see this right here it will this firmware for the camera itself but software that will work with your computer that there's nothing okay and the same goes with a few apps out there so if you guys do use some specific apps for your work studies whatever and they're important to you do not update also, there's always glitches once you guys update. The first version of any OS is never perfect. So if you guys want your OS, your Mac to be working perfectly, just wait a few months, okay? I'm not even saying wait a few weeks. I'm saying wait a few months. Especially, again, if you guys have anything that's Canon. Canon takes forever to actually update their apps to be compatible with the latest Mac OS. And what I mean forever is around six months yeah that's how long they take um last time with the last update they took around four to six months to actually make the update so we have to wait quite a while they have been getting a little bit faster and i've heard that they might be updating a little bit faster this year however don't hold your breath just don't do it okay so if you guys i, I actually don't even see why you guys would need to update to the latest os Yes, there's some features that look pretty cool. Um, you know, there's new dark themes that we want to use for sure. And all that jazz. I definitely want to go and explore the new OS and make some videos about it. However, that means for sure, in my point, I will need to go back and install High Sierra again. And I, I would need to go back to that in order to just for everything to work fine for me. So that's why I'm not even going to bother doing it. I usually do that and then I teach you guys how to go back. And uh, that's using Time Machine. That's right here. But that means you guys would have to have Time Machine set up even before you update your Mac. Okay, and Time Machine is something that uses your external hard drive. And um, I'm just going to show you what Time Machine is since I'm talking about it. But... Just don't rely on Time Machine to go back to the OS that you were before. Although you can, and that's the way I always do it. This is Time Machine, it's something that's pre-installed on your Macs, and uh, you will need an external hard drive. Time Machine just takes a snapshot of your entire Mac, so it's gonna make a good backup of the entire OS. It's gonna make a backup of all your apps, your folders, everything. Okay, um, there's only passwords that don't get passed on in time machine so some passwords you guys will see that they're gone you are gonna have to retype them in but other than that time machine will take everything and will make a really good backup so you guys could go back to high sierra or sierra if you guys are in that point um if you have updated to this guy but again you would have had to use time machine before you made the update anyways that's it for this video it's just a quick warning for you guys just not to update right away there's no reason to update there's no apps that require this latest OS. So you guys are good to go. If you guys are in High Sierra, you're good. Even Sierra is even better than High Sierra. High Sierra has glitches that they never fixed. And Sierra doesn't have those glitches that High Sierra has. So you guys are good to go. Trust me, do not update just yet. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.